and welcome back to the week four edition of the John Carroll Football Preview Show. As I mentioned earlier in the opening segment, we have our interview guest for today. He is John Carroll's leading rusher this season and tied a career high with 24 carries last week in an upset victory over Heidelberg. It's my pleasure to introduce Blue Streak's running back, Evan McVeigh. Evan, thanks for stopping in to chat with us today. Thank you for having me, Logan. I'm happy to be here. That's great, absolutely. So, I'm going to get started with a bit of your earlier football playing days, right before John Carroll. You played high school football at Aurora, so that's here in the Northeast Ohio area, Mm -hmm. but how ultimately did you end up here at John Carroll? Um, You know, uh, football program here is great. Um, Their academics are great. You know, I came in here and I love the coaches, I love the staff. Um, On my overnight visit, I love the guys here and it just felt like home right away. So it sounds like that brotherhood that is really talked about often and was really mm-hmm. established even before you were part of the team. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's great to hear you had that chemistry going even before you became a Blue Streak. So just building on a little bit on your career at Aurora, you were an All-Ohio selection your senior year, but not as a running back. It was as mm-hmm. a defensive back, but you are playing running back now here at John Carroll. You were on the team last year as well. What made you decide to play running back in college? Um, you know, I just, I, I love having the ball in my hands, uh, making plays, you know, I felt like it was the only thing that was right. It just, you know, I like to score touchdowns, um, and just help my team win. So, so there are the opportunities on defense, but maybe perhaps not as many right. as you would be on offense. Yeah. So you have certainly played a big role with this blue streaks offense, particularly this season. You had a career high tying it with 24 carries against Heidelberg last week. What is your mindset at the moment as your role is beginning to increase with this team being that you are just a sophomore? I mean, yeah, I'm going to do whatever the team needs me to do, you know. Um, If I need to get 30 carries, then I'm going to get 30 carries. Even if it's going to hurt my body, you know, I'm I'm just going to do whatever the team needs me to do, so... And that's great to hear. That really picks up from where you were in high school playing two ways. Now you are playing more so on offense, but you are also on special teams as a returner as well. Yes, sir. And now just going into more of the running back situation where you are right now. So Coach DeMarco, he's in his first year as the running backs coach here at John Carroll, was coaching the quarterbacks last season. How has the running back room gotten along so far in 2022? Um, You know, those are my guys. Um, you know, it's a, it's a brotherhood, you know. Um, I do anything for them. They do anything for me. Uh, we joke around with each other all the time. We know we got each other's backs. And in Indy, you know, we push each other to be the best that we possibly can. And uh, we try to carry the offensive unit, so... And diving a little more into that running back room, there is some youth. You know, yourself, Mason Sullivan, a running back from Kirtland, Ohio, it's where I went to high school and played as well. And then you also have Demarius Goodwin, who is a graduate student, so a little bit more experienced. What mm-hmm. kind of words of wisdom has he given the running back room over these past couple seasons? Yeah, Demarius, he's the leader, you know, um, undisputed. Uh, we all look up to him. Uh, he leads by example. Um, he's just a great leader, and it's someone who uh, we all look up to. And yeah, I mean, he sets a great example for us. So, And speaking of that leading and preparing for what's to come, you do have this game coming up against Wilmington. How did preparation go for this week with, I mean, not just the offense and yourself, mm-hmm. but the whole team in general? Yeah, I mean, it's a team we can't take lightly. You know, they're not a team that we've seen in the past. Um, they're 3-1. and one. They lost by one to BW, who, you know, we know that's a good team. So, um, I mean, yeah, we've been pushing extra hard. Um, you know, we can't take them lightly. So, And you're talking about that 3-1 and one start that Wilmington does have. They're off to their best start through four games since mm-hmm. 2001. That was just yep. their second season as a member of the OAC. So this certainly looks to be a good game for you guys on the road. What will it take for Team 100 to earn its first road victory of the season? Um, you know, everyone doing their job controlling what we can control, uh, execution on offense, defense, being smart, no penalties after the play, um, and just believing in each other and having trust. That's what's going to get us a win and you know, bring us success in the future. So it sounds like the team attitude and strong discipline will both be key factors. Absolutely. Running back Evan McVeigh is our guest on the week four edition of the John Carroll Football Preview Show. Going to venture a little bit away from the football field now. What do you enjoy doing when you're not on the football field? Um, when I'm not on the field, uh, I like hanging out with my friends. Um, I play video games, uh, weightlifting. I like playing card games with my friends. Uh, yeah. So I know you do also mention the weightlifting, so I know that's not Mm -hmm. just for your sport, also for yourself too. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, um, obviously it, 
it's very important to lift if you're a football player, but, you know, I do it for myself too. You know, it's like an escape. Any particular card games that come to mind? Uh, I like playing Texas Hold'em, uh, Euchre, Blackjack. Yeah, I'm a big card game player. So so that's some of that strategy that's kind of in- involved as well. So do you uh, play those with your teammates as well? Yeah, I do. Yeah, Mason Sullivan's one of them. So. Well, it sounds like there's some competition even off the field oh, with, yeah. with the running backs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for sure. And now talking a little bit more about yourself, you are currently a sophomore, so still have a good amount of time left here at John Carroll. You are a business mm-hmm. major mm-hmm. at the moment. Any potential plans in mind for when your time at John Carroll is complete? Um, I'm not very sure yet. Um, you know, I yeah, I don't I don't know yet. So, and that's a perfectly okay thing to say. You know, mm-hmm. you still got plenty of time right, left. This is right. only your second year, yeah. so <laughs> still lots of experiences left for you to be had. And then yeah. also talking about your affiliation here with John Carroll. Did you have any family ties to? Uh, yeah. The university? Yeah, I did actually. My sister went here. She graduated in 19, is doing psychology now. So that definitely influenced me uh, to come here a little bit, you know. That certainly <laughs> had to have, I would have to think. And mm-hmm. yeah, it's certainly not the first family ties we have here at John Carroll, but that really does show that it does run deep in terms of when someone in your family goes, like even look at your own team, Mason Sullivan in your running back room, his younger right. brother Gage is on the team as a wide receiver, and Tyler Mintz, who we had on in the week two edition of the preview show, had his father and grandfather both play football here, so mm-hmm. ties certainly do run deep. Yep, for sure. Certainly seems like it once again. Well, now we're going to transition into our final segment of this week four edition of the John Carroll Football Preview Show. I do want to thank you, Evan, once again for taking the time to sit down yeah, with us this week. Of course. I call it rapid fire, but there's no timer or anything. It's just a couple of quick questions. Yeah. A lot of your favorites, just so the Blue Streak Nation and Faith will get to know you a little bit better. Are you All ready? Right. Yeah, let's do it. All right, awesome. We're going to start with your favorite food. Favorite food is steak. Heard a lot of that last season, and that's <laughs> looking to be a common theme for this season for sure, too. How about your favorite show? Favorite show is Rick and Morty. I think that's the first one for this season. Uh, Favorite movie? Favorite movie, uh, Step Brothers. I think JM said that last yeah. week as well, so maybe there's <laughs> there's another potential topic to talk about with your teammate on the defense right there. Yes, sir. Favorite music artist? Uh, at the moment, um, I don't want to say Lil Baby because that's pretty mainstream, but uh, I'd say Lil Durk. I think Lil Baby is somebody who JM last week also mentioned too. So so when you say like at the moment, does that kind of just depend on, you know, what mood you're in or even like different kind of hype music for when you're getting ready for the game? Um, I mean, it's changed over, I'd say like the past couple months just because like, you know, whoever is like releasing at the time. So, I mean, yeah. And finally, your favorite all-time football player. Barry Sanders. And you had no hesitation there. So is yeah. he a running back you tend to model your game after uh, as well? Absolutely, yeah. Well, that certainly shows when you're on the field because Barry Sanders did have that speed, the quickness, the mm-hmm. agility laterally, and right. you've certainly shown a lot of that as well for John Carroll mm-hmm. uh, during your time here. And that will just about wrap things up for our interview here for Week 4. Evan, do want to thank you once again for taking the time to join us, and best of luck against Wilmington. Thank you. I appreciate you having me. Absolutely. That was Blue Streaks running back Evan McVeigh for our week four interview on the John Carroll Football Preview Show. And coming up, a bit of a preview of today's matchup between your John Carroll Blue Streaks and the Wilmington Fighting Quakers. Right here on your home for the Blue Streaks, WJCU 88.7.